On December 1, 1955, Miss Rosa Parks made history in Montgomery, Alabama by refusing to obey the bus driver's order to give up her seat in the colored section to a white passenger after the white section was filled. Chuck Culpepper, Jr., chair of the criminal justice leadership at JFK University, had the opportunity to work with and get to know Miss Parks. We were hired to uh, do what we call executive protection work for a VIP, but we weren't given the name of the VIP. So we get to the airport, and then as soon as we get there, I get this call, and it's from uh, Michelle of the North Richmond Neighborhood House, and she goes, okay, since you're close to the airport, I need to tell you who you're gonna be picking up, so that way you know what to look for. And she goes, it's gonna be the mother of the Civil Rights Movement. And I said, mother of the Civil Rights Movement. I said, you, you can't mean Rosa Parks. And she goes, yes. You know, I was just blown away. I just said, wow. On behalf of the Raymond and Rosa Parks Foundation, which they have, they were coming in to present two programs to the city of Richmond. One was a program for the North Richmond Reapwood House to help students who were having trouble in math and English and how to fund that program. The another one was called uh, Pathways to Freedom, which is a recreation of the Underground Railroad, where they would take children, in this case from Richmond, and they would actually go through all the steps of the Underground Railroad from the south to the north. So she was showing us how we can do that and how we can fund it. So that was her purpose of being there. When she finished her California tours, we would still stay in contact because I would get the Christmas cards. Uh, we would try to talk with each other at least once every six to eight weeks. She told my mother, your son has two mothers. It's you and I. And we'll make sure that he's safe and we'll take care of him. Basically what I had was a history lesson from an historian because there are a lot of things that she talked about that hadn't been written in her book, and then also some things that I didn't learn in history. And then she kind of talked about how she met Dr. Martin Luther King and how the, the protests and the march began and then things that she did afterwards by starting this foundation and what she's been doing in cities throughout the United States. So it really brought me up to date on what the Rose and Raymond Parks Foundation was doing. When she spoke, she said it was just like a, a dream to her because she never realized that she would be uh, this national icon and uh, she said all she did was just take a you know a step and do what she thought was right uh, but she said it, it just changed things throughout the south and also in the north she said you can do what you want to do and be what you want to be as long as you have that faith and that courage and sometimes you have to step out on the limb as long as you have that drive there's nothing that you can't do